Today we're talking about how to create calm and serene bedrooms. So let's get started. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. So far in our room design series, we've been talking about the public spaces of the home. In this fifth video in the series, we're moving into the private spaces and exploring bedroom design. Bedrooms, whether they're used daily or reserved for guests, require certain elements for maximum comfort and functionality. The goal is to create a relaxing atmosphere that allows you to rest, renew, and recharge. In this video on creating a calm and serene home, we talked about simplicity and functionality, connection to nature, and engaging the senses. Here are some specifics for how these elements work in the bedroom. Remove clutter, including visual clutter, but make sure you have what you need so that the room functions for you, including adequate bedding, storage, or any decorative items that bring you joy and a peaceful feeling. Bedrooms are a great place to incorporate plants. Plants absorb carbon dioxide and emit oxygen at night, enhancing the quality of the air as we sleep. The bedroom is also a great place to engage all of the senses. Color is a great way to set the mood for your bedroom. Do you want it to be light and bright, or do you prefer a moody feel? Keep in mind that light colors, those with a light reflectance value above 50, will reflect light, so any light that makes its way into the room at night will be reflected and make the room brighter. If you go with a darker color, one with an LRV below 50, you'll create a moodier feel and avoid reflected light. For a light and bright yet soft feel, a neutral palette, including soft whites, beiges, and warm grays, makes for a restful retreat. For a moodier feel, greens and blues in neutral earthy tones are really calming and add an organic appeal. You can also go very dark with shades of black, charcoal, and navy tones to create a cocoon of color and a more dramatic feel. How we perceive color and the mood of the room is very dependent on lighting. Many bedrooms have a centrally located ceiling outlet where you can place a light fixture or ceiling fan. What you select will depend on the climate you live in and your needs. A chandelier or pendant that coordinates with your decor is a great choice here. Opt for a soft white color temperature of 2700 Kelvin or less and install a dimmer switch for it. Layer in several other light sources, including bedside lighting in the form of table lamps, sconces, or even pendants on each side of the bed, and perhaps a table lamp on a dresser or a floor lamp in a dark corner. Bedding and natural fabrics like cotton, linen, bamboo, silk, and wool provide softness and breathability for the most comfortable sleep. Rugs and drapery add softness and help with acoustical comfort, and we'll talk about them in more detail in a minute. But plants, especially leafy ones, are also great at helping absorb sound. If you struggle with a lot of noise from outside, white noise machines and apps can help mask those sounds and help you get a good night's rest. To stimulate your sense of smell and create a relaxing atmosphere to help you sleep, think about using candles or an aromatherapy diffuser with scents like vanilla, lavender, or lemongrass. And you can even engage your sense of taste with a soothing cup of lemon balm or chamomile tea while reading a good book. Space planning furniture and furnishings are also key in how the bedroom feels and functions for you. Here's some things to think about to create the most pleasing look and a functional arrangement. The best position for the bed is across from, but not directly in front of the entry door. There are two reasons for this. One is that the bed, being the largest item in the room, is the natural focal point along with the wall behind it. Secondly, it will place you in the commanding position or power position, a feng shui term, meaning that you have a clear view of the door while you're in bed. Whether you ascribe to feng shui principles or not, being able to see the door and not have someone sneak up on you as you're in bed allows you to fully relax and get better rest. Balance is more important than strict symmetry, and whether you have one nightstand or bedside table or two, 
will depend on the available space. If there's space and two people are using the bed, then it's nice to have two so that each person has a place to put a beverage or a book, but the two don't have to match. One could be a nightstand with drawers while the other could be a bedside table. Using similar materials like woods and or metals creates a cohesive look. You can vary shapes and sizes, although keeping them at the height of the mattress or a couple of inches taller is the most comfortable. We talked about adding a rug to add softness underfoot and to help with acoustics. So what's the best size and placement for a bedroom rug? For a full-sized rug that will go under the bed, choose one in a size large enough to go completely under the bed and nightstands, or about two-thirds under the bed stopping short of the nightstands, and extending 24 to 28 inches, or about 60 to 70 centimeters on each side of the bed in either scenario. Drapery is also a great way to add softness and acoustical comfort, and it can help keep the room dark for the best sleep. Use the same principles as you would in your living spaces, hanging them high and letting them kiss the floor or puddle on it if you're using a lighter panel and don't have any pet issues with this. If you do, or for drapery like blackout panels that may be thicker, you'll want to keep them about one quarter inch above the floor as the thicker fabric won't drape well once it hits the floor. It's sometimes hard to hit this mark exactly unless you have expertly installed custom draperies, but it's a good guideline for keeping the fabric off the floor when necessary. For more room design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.